Hi gang, this is John again from Durand, Wisconsin. On the way back from Eau Claire, uh, this is, I guess, going to be the first uh, official uh, video uh, blog of the year. And I uh, came through here this morning and uh, noticed you get a really nice view of the Chippewa River. So I thought I would uh, take you down there and uh, at least a semi-scenic uh, view here as we start our our way back home. I think I may have passed the best location. No, this will work too probably. Uh, the temperature is, is rapidly rising. Uh, I was getting warmer and warmer and warmer. Uh, but this morning I had to have my coat on the whole time. But Okay, on the way back from Eau Claire, and uh, this is downtown Durand. Uh, it doesn't look uh, partic particularly vital. Uh, sorry, guys. Uh, but uh, I don't know if that's uh, if flooding is the cause of that or exactly what. But uh, here is that view of the Chippewa River. I tell you, I, I am running into traffic everywhere today. I cannot avoid traffic. Okay, we're going to get it neutral and uh, get parked in a spot here so we can uh, take a look real quick. I'm not sure uh, where that road goes to, but uh, that's a pretty good size bridge. And as you can see, uh, that's a pretty good size uh, river. Um, I was only vaguely familiar with the, with the Chippewa uh, River uh, before today uh, and certainly had no idea it was this wide and this uh, substantial. Uh, the water appears to be up, must be, uh, have been rainy over here too. Well it's been a long day so I'm going to start making my way back out of town and, uh, but I'll keep talking a little bit longer for this first video. Uh, as some of you may have noticed, and I, and I guess I don't have that many subscribers, so maybe nobody has noticed, but the uh, I spent some time the last couple weeks uh, changing my uh, mount location for the GoPro camera from from on top of the helmet uh, to a chin mount. The, uh, one of the things that one of the initial things that I'm discovering is the in the test videos is that the uh, wind noise is substantially less, which I, I guess I never realized uh, was at all noticeable, but uh, from the old location on top. This was a nice route on the way up. I really enjoyed this route and. Uh, Here again. Uh, all of a sudden, uh, the wind is picking up a little bit here. Something I wasn't quite expecting today. Okay, back to the uh, the, to the mount. It, it, uh, I'm testing in this first uh, video is on uh, a wide uh, perspective. I'm not sure what that setting's technically called, but right now it's at the wide setting. Uh, uh, the test video seemed okay, but I, I do want to try it at the medium uh, setting and, and see how that works as well. So, uh, uh, so I'm, I'm anxious to, uh, to stop and take a look at this and then maybe I, after I stop and, uh, and take a break in probably in Wabasha, I will uh, uh, change the setting to, to medium and we'll try that. So. Uh, Eau Claire was very interesting. I'd never been to Eau Claire. Um, I think I'd been through it a couple of times uh, at various points in my life. Uh, years ago, uh, museums uh, in, in Austin used to uh, rent, or I'm sorry, lease or sell uh, a fleet of cars to uh, the Rhinelander Wisconsin Airport. 
and uh, they would hire a, a, a crew of us young guys to drive all these cars over to the airport and then all drive back together. So uh, that was uh, what we were doing. So um, I'm a lot closer to Nelson than I realized. Uh, I thought it was uh, had quite a ways left. So but we're going to make good time here. Uh, Nelson, of course, is, is a really pretty little town. It's got kind of uh, uh, several, uh, uh, well, it's a popular spot for uh, motorcyclists, uh, obviously. And there's, if I'm recording when we go through there, I'm sure we're going to see a lot of bikes. It's now 1.30 in the afternoon. I, I suppose it might be a little early for the bikers to start stopping, but... What else can we talk about? Well, this is, um, we have a beautiful day today. It is, uh, my temperature gauge now says 82. Uh, I don't think it would be, the high was only predicted to be uh, like 72, I think. So uh, we far exceeded uh, that number, and um, I, for one, really like that. Can I think of something controversial to talk about to get people to listen? Um, you know, I'm, I so often get into what I call uh, customer speak. Uh, I'm in the uh, customer relations game. I've either been a, a sales person or a, uh, an administrative manager, and the main focus of the administrative manager's job was to uh, handle customer service. So I've been speaking uh, to customers for uh, since 1984. 83 actually probably and um, and it's uh, so it's been you know it's been a long stretch and uh, and you know I, I you get sort of diplomatic in how you speak and the way I've kind of uh, visited on this blog is is similar it's kind of in customer speak oftentimes there is uh, the Chippewa River on the right you can can't quite see it through the trees as that minivan whips by me um, that's one of the things, I'm thinking during the uh, the spring or the early spring or the fall, when those leaves are gone, uh, that view probably is really tremendous. So, uh, I was going uh, what, at 60, at least 60, I think. One of the things about uh, this uh, this location of the, you know, the uh, camera mount is you're going to be able to see... Uh, a little more of my dashboard and my grips, and uh, I don't know if anybody really cares uh, how and when I shift, but you'd be able to see that if you want. This road is, is really uh, pretty scenic, the more I think about it. This whole ride today, once I've got into Wisconsin, has been very, very scenic. Once I got to Eau Claire and I uh, took a little quick tour of the, uh, the campus of the uh, University of Wisconsin, Eau Claire, uh, a lot of Austin kids go there, by the way. Not a lot went there when I was in college. Uh, back then, more went to Stout or to La Crosse or even River Falls and Stevens Point. But Eau Claire now, by all means, is uh, certainly uh, as popular as any of those other locations, if not more, for people from my hometown. So. Um, it was a, a beautiful campus, and then uh, after I had a bite to eat, I went uh, south on Highway 93, and and uh, then cut over on Highway 10 back to Durant. I couldn't quite find a direct route; it was a little bit uh, all over the place. But the Highway 93 there, uh, uh, south of uh, Eau Claire, was really pretty. That was especially scenic. So that would. Uh, that's a, a, a road I would go back on. And, and as I approached whatever town, I can't if it was Valvita or Valida or Elvira or something like that, uh, they were having a festival. And it looked like uh, the whole town, they had some streets cut off. It looked really like the people that were walking into it were so excited to be there. So I, whatever that festival was, uh, I hope uh, you guys had a fantastic time today. Uh, as you can see, uh, you know, as I've said before in some of my blogs, you know, this sort of scenery may not be all that special to somebody living out west but in, in, in mountain country, but for somebody who lives in the flatlands of south central Minnesota, it is... Uh, 
it is nice to see something a little bit unusual. Uh, lots of uh, lots of farms uh, along the way, as you can imagine. Uh, I've got an old high school and college, junior college, and actually Iowa State buddy uh, that in uh, that lived as a veterinarian in uh, I believe it's Stevens Point, uh, and I was thinking about him a lot today, and and. Uh, he seems to be uh, doing very, very well. He's got uh, raises raise some Holsteins and some other things, I understand. So, uh, just became a grandpa not that long ago. So, uh, he and his wife both uh, are classmates of mine. And my class is having a reunion this summer. Um, when I lived out east, I lived out east for 10 years, uh, as I may have said before. Uh, a, a pretty good stretch in South Florida, right outside of Fort Lauderdale, and then a pretty good stretch in South Jersey, right outside of Philadelphia. And uh, during that time, I think I came home for one or two reunions when I was living out east, and, and uh, were very enjoyable. Uh, it was fun to come home for me. But for some reason, uh, because I live in my hometown, I ended up back in my hometown uh, for uh, the quality of education, amongst other reasons. Uh, because I live there, it's less than interesting to me to go to the reunion. Uh, so, for what it's worth, uh, we'll uh, we'll contemplate going, but uh, I doubt that'll uh, that'll be the case this year. So. Um, wow, this is getting really scenic. I'm about right at that point where I was thinking about cutting the video off, and it's getting uh, uh, kind of more and more scenic. So we're pulling into uh, Maxville, Wisconsin. Not sure if I need to slow down, but uh, I prob probably will. I keep looking to the left because that's where all those bluffs are, and that's uh, where it's kind of the most scenic. So. I think I'll wrap this up and uh, 